having seen how difficult this map is, doesn't seem that bad. No, I, I, I support it fully. And th this, this is some entertaining stuff. I don't know if I'm suggesting anything, but a convoy league might be mildly entertaining. Just saying. Yeah, and of course, you know, you see a lot of, like, pubbers try to get into that room and immediately fight for that bomb. But against a team like Loaded, that's going to make sure they get a rusher in there immediately to grab the objective. That's not a wise decision. And fortunately for Turn Squad, they've decided to play a pretty smart. It looks like a near identical uh, mirror copy of the Loaded defense that we saw just a few minutes ago. Um, I'm going to see that the bomb is pushing forward quite fast now. It's almost up to the uh, entry all to gate two. It's going to probably be in the hands of, let me flip around here. I believe it's in the hands of Prank. Yes, it is. And Curious G going to open up in the cloud. It's going to be a good kill for him. They want to make sure they maintain the momentum going into the more difficult side. Um, he's going to be just waiting around boxes. They have the gate. He's going to try to get some kills in the room next to the gate. Not much going to happen. Probably getting a tag or two. But Nabor finally going to be taken down by Espo. Michael D going to get a double kill here into RN and Espo. That's crucial. Michael D living up to Snatch's assessment of being one of the top assaults in this game. He's finally going to get taken down by Tech, but he's done the damage. 3v2 situation for Loaded. This could be well in hand if they play their cards right. And sure enough, Kisu going to get a headshot in the Tech. The last man standing is AK. Let's flip over to him right now. Bomb is about oh, to go all the way. He's right, in his, there, he's right in the path of three of them. This is it, not going to go well. Oh, oh shot shot into <laughs> Kisu. That, that's vaguely disturbing. I, I'm slightly sick to my stomach right now. That is atrocious, and he oh, look at this flank. Chris, and he, oh my lord! Frank though gonna be waiting there. Oh so close. Almost went pheasant hunting on this map, but Prank gonna even score up to five and five and win them another round, five to two going into round eight. <laughs> that that was almost the biggest raffle juke outside of round two win that I've ever seen. That was almost amazing. Yeah, I mean, we've seen our own share of Westbrook moments in this uh, convoy match. <laughs> Between RN and his teammates, they're doing one hell of a job at trying to outmaneuver Loaded. Yeah, that's the first shotgun I've seen picked up in a convoy match in a long time. I didn't even know it existed in this game. What's next, <laughs> a P90? Seen that played. <laughs> But already we have a slew of kills coming in here. The only man down is the ringer, Tech Go Pew. And Curious G and Prank are your last men standing for Loaded. I'm going to hop on and watch my mini map. I don't really uh, spectate guys because you can see a lot more action from the mini map. Uh, I don't know if John can pull that up for you uh, so we can see. But they're pulling back very quickly on the defense, all the way back in the flank. And Curious G and Prank are going to have to move back towards their own spawn in order to try to uh, retrieve the bomb, I think. <laughs> yeah, we're just in a hurricane. Like, I don't know if you knew that, but he is. So, th so thanks. But as things have slowed down pretty, pretty, uh, pretty vigorously, as Curious G and Prank have left their help in a two on four. Two on three, Prank drops Chow, or Clow. But the bomb is down, and, uh, Return's kind of surrounding it. But they're all low on health, so this, this could go either way. And Prank and uh, Curious Gear basically have full health, full armor. And uh, Return is about just... 50%. So he, if they take him down, which might be easy, but no, he's going to get another Enemy kill. That was surprising, Ben. I, I thought that could have gone the other way. In the loaded vent for the game point, John. Do it. I'm just on getting the bomb with two people. Two people. Come on. Go up into that window and peek it if you can. Some up there? Oh, I fucking went alone. That's stupid. Just right here. Like, there's this. Shit. Uh, I'm over here. I have left. Bye bye. He's in computer room. I think. I thought I saw him in computer room. I could be wrong. Just grab, go yeah, and grab the bomb side, again. Side. I think he's in here. 
Let's go back to take window. Go back to take window. Let's go far right. Far right. Far right. Alright. Watch, I'll get flagged. Don't be too loud. Someone take window. We still have a minute 40. If you get like the least health, you shouldn't lead. I'll lead, I'll lead. Let me lead, I fall. Let's go up the gut. Trying to be behind the barrels. Yeah, I'm like pipe moving so he can't see me. Pipe moving your mom. Not barrels, not barrels. He's in spawn on top of the boxes. Yeah, he is. Two into the right. Two into the right. One more, one more. Good try, good try. We just gotta get one more, guys. Their back's against the wall. They're not taking mid then. Oh, yeah, man. And what an effort there, Bonham at the end. But for those of you that follow the crowd form, I'm going to make an analogy. He went from the energy level of reflex to the energy level of bagel uh, right at the end and was taken down before he could cross that finish line. So we do have a third round going to uh, team return, but they're already in a 2v4 uh, situation. Make that 1v4. Excuse me, 2v4. I am slow. I'm lagging mentally. This is not good, Sal. Let's take it away. <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't look good. You got the Ringer, Pew, and AK. The Ringer's not doing too bad after a shaky start. Playing pretty well. And it looks like Return is just going to sit and spawn and kind of wait for the door to open, then run to the, the, the actual point itself. And then kind of just pick them off as they come. Keys are getting dropped by Return. He's no, no doubt raging that there's two of them in spawn. You can actually open up both gates from up there. I just realized that. Because there's another panel on the side. So for all of you convoy players, that's how you do it. Looks like they're going to try to draw that rotate to gate one, and then they're going to haul ass to gate two. But I think return might outplay them here, because I already see AK going down there. Oh, and they open gate two, and they're going to backtrack again. You know, they got the time. Um, they got a minute and 40 seconds to work this. And these guys are experienced S&D players for COD 4. So they're going to utilize all the time they possibly can. You know, just floating between bomb sites. One of the things that, I'll, if you ever followed COD 4, is that Pandemic Loaded Legends, whatever roster these guys were on in some form or another, was always amazing at rotating. And Nabor's going to have this bomb and going to push. But I think that they're taking a little bit of a risk here, having Prank and Nabor split up and try to make a sandwich. Because this is not going to be a happy sandwich. This is going to be a tuna sandwich. It's going to stink. And sure enough, there's AK taking down Pranky Chan. The last man standing is Nabor. He has the bomb. He's going to get a kill into return AK, but that gives away his position. It's all up to this ringer, the lone solitary man. And he spots Nabor. Oh, misses him. Nabor going <laughs> to... They're doing a square dance, a jig, if you will, river dancing around. Who's going to get the final foot? Who's going to pull off a Fred Astaire and tags up Enemy on tech? Oh, no! my God! It's Nabor for the win. Your efforts are commended. Wow, Imagine tuna well sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Reminds yeah, me of that.